We're going to talk about triangle trig, and this is what I often use for my first le lecture when I teach trigonometry. The first thing is I do is I set up an angle here, what we call a positive angle. We start with what we call the initial side, and this is the terminal side. And between here we have our angle, and this is a positive angle. We often call them by Greek letters. And of course, here's a negative angle. So we call this alpha here, and this is a negative because it's going in a clockwise direction, an angle in a counterclockwise direction is positive, uh, clockwise direction is a negative angle. Over here I've got a few more angles, and uh, they, they're, that you run into about the 90 degree angle, which we call the right angle right here, just to remind you. If we go over here to a straight line, here's the initial side and the terminal side, this dot kind of separates them, if the angle keeps spreading out like this, it becomes a 180 degree angle. And here's what roughly what a 30 degree angle looks like, and a 60 degree angle, which is twice the 30 degree angle, and the 45 degree angle. This is just to remind you a little bit of what you learned in geometry. We're not going to get into it in any detail. But these are the kinds of concepts you have to know to start this whole idea of, trig of uh, triangle trigonometry. So we have to know how, what an angle is, kind of, and what a positive angle is, a negative angle, and some various angles that you can just sketch very easily. Now, we're going to go over here, we're going to look at a few important, what we call common angles. And our common angle uh, is the 30 degree angle. And what we do, we have a 30 degree angle like this. I'm going to extend the initial side out and the terminal side out. Is you drop your altitude to make a right triangle, OK? So this is a right angle or a 60 degree excuse me, a 90 degree angle here, and usually put a little square there to indicate it's a right angle. So the 30 degree, you have to have 180 degrees all the way around, so 90, 30. This has to be 60 in order to make um, 180 degrees uh, in, inside that triangle, um, the, all the angles in the triangle. And what, what we want to say is the 30, 60, uh, 90 degree triangle has certain properties. That is, it's got a long side, the hypotenuse, and it's got a short side here. The long side is twice the short side. So if the short side is A, the long side is 2A. And the other side left over is the A times the square root of 3. And it doesn't hurt at all for what we're going to do, since we're going to be looking at, by the way, this is a, this is a theorem you prove in uh, geometry. I'm not going to prove all your old geometry theorems. You can look them up if you want in your old geometry book if you like. But this is a special triangle of 30, 60, 90, and it has this property. And since we're going to be looking at one side over another, the ratio of different sides, it doesn't really matter whether what we use, number we use for A. In fact, a very convenient number is to use 1, and then we have 2 here, and then we have the square root of 3 there. So if this short side is 1, then this long side has to be 2, and this has to be the square root of 3. We use to also turn this on its side to, get, to deal with the 60 degree angle. And so here is 60 degrees and I drop an altitude down like this. And this is a right angle here. And of course, this is, this is 30 degrees then. So it's the same triangle, 30, 60, 90. And if we call the short side 1, then we can call this 2 and the square root of 3 here. And then another angle, the 45 degree angle is a common angle. I should probably write common angles here. How am I doing on time? I'm not getting too much time. I can't run this too long here. Here's 45 degrees. Uh, okay, I drop an altitude down like this. And I have the 45, 45, 90 uh, triangle. And this is also 45 degrees. We know the right triangle has more. One of the sides angles is 45 degrees. The other one is 45 degrees. And this has a special property that uh, these two sides are equal. Okay, it's an isosceles triangle. So if this is A and this is A, then this is A times the square root of 2. All right? And it does this is we're going to only going to be comparing ratios of sides. It doesn't really matter what A is. A could be 1 and 1, and then this would be 1. That's the simplest number. And then this would be 1. So we have this 45, 45, 90 degree triangle that we're going to use. Now in the next video, we're going to talk about the sine, cosine, and tangent using these triangles and some other interesting invented triangles. So that's uh, it for this this one.